Another way to evaluate the, the left ventricle is to go, so far we have seen multi-slice uh, acquisition uh, with single bit and multi-bit. We've seen 4D auto LVQ and we also have biplane and triplane views. For biplane views, we have to press multi-D button. We can give some gain. And simultaneously, we have a four chamber and uh, one view that is 90 degrees, 90 degrees uh, further from the four chamber. This is not a two chamber view. This is what you should know. It is 90 degrees after the four chamber. Okay. In order to have a correct two chamber view, we have to go to the machine and press triplane. When we press triplane, you can see that we have uh, this sign that says that w uh, these views uh, have 60 degrees of difference. So this is a correct four chamber view, this is a two chamber view, and this is an apical three chamber view. What we can do here is to just press image store press image store and then we can go on the machine or at the echo pack and measure a triplane ejection fraction uh, what's the added value of triplane we don't just include four chamber and two chamber view like in 2D biplane but we can also include the inferolateral wall and the anterior septum so we, we can be more accurate at uh, measuring the ejection fraction in cases with the ischemic cardiomyopathy where for example we have a, a kinesia of uh, the posterior wall so triplane ejection fraction is better than biplane, but the problem is that whatever I acquire at this moment, this will be measured afterwards. Uh, what do I mean is that if my images are foreshortened, then I cannot align my views and avoid it. It will be a foreshortened view. So this is why for the auto LVQ, is better for uh, volumes and ejection fraction because uh, you can avoid for shortening of the apex of the left ventricle.